Hey everyone, Scott here from Simple Mechanic Advice. Today we will talk about how to turn off the tire pressure light on a Honda Civic. Here's how to do it. On 2008 to 2014 Honda Civic models. These models have a direct TPMS system where each tire has a TPMS sensor that communicates to the car's ECU. The TPMS in these cars flashes when you have a low tire pressure or a damaged sensor. After addressing the issues, perform a TPMS relearn to reset the light. Here's how. First, get a TPMS scan tool with an OBD2 module. Next, ensure you've installed the new TPMS sensors properly and adjusted the tire pressure to your vehicle's specs. Most Civics require 32 to 33 PSI. However, check your car's manual or label near the driver's door for specific pressure requirements. Once adjusted, use your TPMS scan tool to detect the sensor's IDs for your Civic's wheels. Do this by placing the scan tool near the sensors and hitting the scan button. After scanning, connect the OBD module to your car's DLC port. You'll find this under the steering wheel. However, check your vehicle's manual if you cannot locate your car's DLC. Once hooked up, turn your car's ignition on and press OK on the TPMS scan tool to transfer the sensor data to your vehicle's ECU. Disconnect the OBD module from your Civic's DLC and turn the ignition off. Finally, turn on your car and drive at 28 MPH for 5 minutes. On post-2015 Honda Civic models. Post-2015 Honda Civics have an indirect TPMS system, where your car communicates tire pressure issues via the ABS system. This system requires recalibration after refilling, rotating, or replacing your tires. Here's how to do this. Using the steering wheel controls, turn on your car without starting your engine. Press the menu button and choose Customize Settings. Go to TPMS Calibration and click the Initialize option. Tap Yes to confirm your selection and wait. Once your car resets, press Menu to exit. Using the touch display, Turn on your car without starting your engine. Select Settings from the home screen. Go to the Vehicle option and select TPMS Calibration. Select the Calibrate option and wait. Alternatively, disconnect the battery. Turn off your car's ignition and open the hood. Use a socket wrench to loosen the nut around the negative terminal. It's the one with the red cap. Remove the nut and cable from the negative terminal. Repeat this process with the positive terminal. Wait 10 minutes before reconnecting the positive and negative terminals. Turn on your car and check if the TPMS light comes on. Thanks for watching.